Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on partial fractions and integration. Here is the exam question. f of x is equal 9x squared plus 4 over 9x squared minus 4. x is not equal to plus or minus 2 over 3. Part A, given that f of x is equal a plus b over 3x minus 2 plus c over 3x plus 2. Find the values of the constants a, b and c. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part A. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. My first observation is that I've got a constant A. That constant A is called the quotient. In order to find the quotient, we need to apply polynomial division. We also need to apply polynomial division because this fraction over here is an improper fraction. Whenever you have an improper fraction, before you split into partial fractions, you must apply polynomial division. The way we check that this over here is an improper fraction is by substituting any arbitrary value for x into the function. And when we press equal on the calculator, we'll get an improper fraction. Okay, so the first step is to apply polynomial division. So I've got my division set up. Inside, I can put 9x squared plus 4, but the 9x squared plus 4 is an injured polynomial. I need to repair it. To repair it, I need to introduce a 0x. So I've got 9x squared plus 0x plus 4. My divisor is 9x squared minus 4. Again, 9x squared minus 4 is an injured polynomial. To repair it, I need to introduce a 0x. So I've got 9x squared plus 0x uh, minus 4. So 9x squared divided by 9x squared is just 1. So I take 1 and I multiply with this expression and I get 9x squared plus 0x minus 4. Now I can subtract the two polynomials and if I do this, I get this becomes 0, this becomes 0. Over here I've got 4 minus minus 4, which is 4 plus 4. Hence I've got 8. So my f of x can be rewritten as quotient plus remainder over divisor. So the quotient is 1, the remainder is 8, and the divisor is what I have over here. But ladies and gents, the 9x squared minus 4 is technically difference of two squares. So the factorization of this would just be 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Okay, so that there is my divisor. I've got f of x equal quotient, which is 1, plus remainder, which is 8, over divisor, which is 9x squared minus 4. In factorised form, it is this one over here. 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Okay, now I can let this fraction over here equal b over 3x minus 2 plus c over 3x plus 2. So let 8 over 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2, equal, I need to be consistent with the letters used in the question, so I'm going to use b, b over 3x minus 2 plus c over 3x plus 2. I can combine the two fractions by cross multiplying, so I've got b multiplied by 3x plus 2 plus c multiplied by 3x minus 2, all over, ladies and gents, 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Okay, now, since that this fraction over here is equal to this fraction, we can set the numerators equal to each other. So I've got 8 equal b lots of 3x plus 2 plus c lots of 3x minus 2. Right, so now I need to carry out a substitution uh, for x. The way we actually decide on the substitution is by setting each bracket equal to 0. So if I've got 3x plus 2 equals 0, this gives me x equal minus 2 over 3. My first substitution. Uh, 3x minus 2 equals 0. If I solve for x, this gives me x equal 2 over 3. My second substitution. So let's start off with x equal minus 2 over 3. So when we substitute, x equal minus 2 over 3 into this equation over here. We get that the left hand side stays as 8, but then the right hand side becomes minus 4c. Okay, that term over there becomes 0. So if we solve for c, we get c equal minus 2. Now I'm going to substitute x equal 2 over 3. So if I substitute 
x equal 2 over 3 into this equation over here, ladies and gents, I get 8 equal 4b. This time, this term over here becomes 0. Okay, so if I solve for b, I get b equal 2. Right, so I've got my a, which is 1. That's my quotient. I've got my b and I've got my c, so I can rewrite f of x. In other words, I'm going to rewrite this fraction as f of x equal the quotient 1 plus the partial fraction representation of this, okay, which will be b over 3x minus 2. I've got b, which is 2. So 2 over 3x minus 2 uh, plus c over 3x plus 2. Now c is minus 2, so plus minus becomes minus, so I can just write minus 2 over 3x plus 2. And that there, ladies and gents, completes part A of the exam question. Let's have a look at part B of the exam question. Hence, so we have to refer back to our answer in part A. Find the exact value of the integral from minus 1 over 3 to 1 over 3 of this fraction with respect to x. Writing your answer in the form a plus b ln c, where a, b and c are rational numbers to be found. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So ladies and gents, the equivalent form of this fraction is this over here. So integrating this fraction is the same as integrating this. So we're going to take the integral from minus 1 over 3 to 1 over 3 of 1 plus 2 over 3x minus 2 minus 2 over 3x plus 2 with respect to x. So let's carry out the integration. So the 1 integrates to x with respect to x plus these two fractions integrate to a natural logarithm. So we've got the constant 2. So we take 2 and we multiply by 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 3. So 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 is just 2 over 3. ln modulus 3x minus 2. Okay, minus the constant 2 multiplied by 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 3. So 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 is just 2 over 3. ln modulus 3x plus 2. Close square bracket, lower limit minus 1 over 3, upper limit 1 over 3. Okay, so what I need to do now is substitute x equal 1 over 3 into here. So I've got 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 ln modulus minus 1 minus 2 over 3 ln modulus 3 minus substitute x equal minus 1 over 3 into this. So I've got minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 ln modulus minus 3 minus 2 over 3 ln modulus 1. Close bracket. Okay, so I need to start simplifying this. So I've got equal a third plus 2 over 3 ln. The modulus of minus 1 is just 1, so I can write ln 1. Minus 2 over 3 ln modulus of 3 is just 3. Take away, open bracket, minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 ln modulus of minus 3 is just 3. Minus 2 over 3 ln 1. Okay, I know that this term over here becomes 0 because ln 1 is 0. This term over here becomes 0 because ln 1 is 0. Right, so I can start to simplify. I've got a third minus 2 over 3 ln 3. Take away minus 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 ln 3. I can expand the bracket. This gives me a third minus 2 over 3 ln 3 plus 1 over 3 minus 2 over 3 ln 3. So 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is just 2 over 3. So I've got 2 over 3. Then minus 2 over 3 ln 3 minus 2 over 3 ln 3 is minus 4 over 3 ln 3. So that is the exact value of this particular integral. So I can state the constants a, b and c. So a is equal to 2 over 3, b 
is equal minus 4 over 3 and C is equal 3. That there, ladies and gents, completes part B of the exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics, exam question, partial fractions and integration. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.